morning guys it's December 3rd which means it's day three of vlogmas how are you um oh I'm tired it is 7 25 it's Sunday morning and I had a wicked headache in my eye sockets all night so I just took some Advil um, yesterday really stressed me out. Yet yeah, when I mentioned that I sat down and had my Christmas cry, if you've never seen that video before, um, I actually schedule a Christmas cry. It sounds really, really weird. Um, I found after my mom passed away, it was just too much. Um, and, uh, I just get really sad and down and instead of crying, a little bit every day through Christmas and completely losing my mind um, <laughs> on Christmas Day. Uh, leading up to Christmas, like yesterday was December 2nd, um, I will actually sit down and make myself cry. I know that sounds really stupid, but it helps me. And I'm obviously still going through stress in my head right now, but um, I put on... Uh, where Are You Christmas by Faith Hill. That just song that just makes me so sad. Um, oh, Holy Night makes me sad. So there's certain songs um, that make me cry. And even as a kid, I used to get sad. Like Christmas Eve, I would have a couple moments where I just would feel really bad for people that were alone. I got something on my camera. Um, I would feel bad for people that were alone or don't have family or for people who had died. Um, and it would make me sad. And, um, of course then I would get over it, but, <laughs> um, now with my mom gone, it's seven years and it just, it just makes me sad. So I'm like, okay, well I have to get it out. And I just felt like that yesterday I had such a tension headache and just seeing her decorations and stuff like that. It's just like, okay, I just have to get this out. Um, I feel like I still have a little bit more in there that I need to get out. It was just a lot of work yesterday and I know the kids were disappointed we didn't get the tree up, but I was like, I'm trying, I'm trying to get stuff done. And if Scott and I didn't go shopping last night, we would have got the tree up, but we're going to do that today. Um, so I have to do that and I have to do the railing out here. I do stuff on the railing and the outside decorations I will do probably next weekend. Um, or some night this week if I have some time, but I have a doctor's appointment with Bryn tomorrow. Um, I have a dentist appointment with Bryn on Tuesday. And then right after that, we have an appointment about her, her feet, <laughs> the kids. She, that's a sin. She's a hot mess. Tomorrow we have to go see a, a rheumatologist because she's having really bad circulation problems. Like her hands and feet, her toes go white and numb. It's really bizarre. She has really poor circulation. Um, Scott does too, but hers is like really bad. Like her arms are going numb. Her, her hands are going numb. So we got to go get that checked out. So we have to see a specialist tomorrow about that. Scott and I did do some shopping last night. So that was good. Um, <laughs> we first walked in to the mall and he was instantly stressed out. He does not like to shop. Um, and I was like, okay, <laughs> you need to calm down and you can't take your stress out on the 18 year old, um, who's working behind the counter. Uh, he's like, well, how come they don't know how to ring stuff in? I'm like, they're seasonal help. Like they just started two days ago. Give them a break. Okay. So I have to do those things. I first need to start off with some breakfast. The other thing I want to do is I want to start on this little mill hill kit that I was talking about. I was itching to do that all day yesterday. And, um, I can't just sit down and do it cause I said I would film and I need to set up my camera and everything. So yeah. Um, and those are, those are tricky to film because you got to zoom in and this camera sucks. This camera, it's a Nikon cool pics and it makes me, it makes me mental. The picture of me yesterday in here, this is probably blurry too. Am I blurry? Oh, and I thought of something that I'm making for my dad for Christmas. And here's the thing. He, he might be watching this going, we said no gifts. My family, um, like dad and Annette and, and us aren't exchanging gifts this year because, uh, at Thanksgiving dad made an announcement, uh, for Canadian Thanksgiving when he was with those guys. Uh, he said that he wants us to do all acts of kindness for Christmas this year. We're not exchanging gifts because Lord knows we have stuff. We have all have too much stuff and we don't really need anything. And if we need something, we end up going to buy it ourselves. 
and shipping to Canada is ridiculous. I'll show you this. This was, um, everyone's been getting the, the craft boxes from me on, in a timely manner, but poor Diana, <laughs> she's a good friend of mine in Canada. They have given her so much grief at customs because for nine months, I kept putting them in these, um, boxes and she was getting them. She was having to pay duty, which I know all about that living in Bermuda. Duty is ridiculous. But anyway, um, I remember having to pay duty her October box. She still hasn't received it because it's here in my hands. I got this back the other day. They destroyed the box. Everything inside is okay. And I don't know what the fuss was. It's the October box. So maybe the bat scared the customs guy. Boo. There was crystal light in it. Maybe it was a powdery substance. I don't know. Like, so and they didn't eat your Reese's peanut butter cups, Diana. So it's all good. So everything is contained. So I have to try and ship it back, but check this out. Opened by uh, CBSA, which is the Canadian border services agency. And they, they did all that with the marker and they taped it and they just marked refused. They opened it up and they're like, no, you can't have your, your package. So I don't, it doesn't say why. So when I picked it up at, at my post office, I said, why was it refused? And she looks at it and she goes, because they refused it. <laughs> I'm like, Thank, thanks for clearing that up. So Diana, I will get that out to you, um, soon, but that's ridiculous. And if you would like, just let me know, just uh, message me. And if you want me to just bring it home, like the next time we're home, which might not be till next summer, but um, you can have a little October craft to do in the summer and then you won't have to pay duty on it. I'll just have to pay $3,000 to fly to you. So we aren't, and it's not, that's not the reason we're not giving to each other. I mean, it's part of the reason because shipping is ridiculous. I think I spent 75, $70 to ship something last year, or they spent $70 to ship me like a little box. Um, so it's just ridiculous. So dad wants to, um, have us find people to give to at Christmas. So I told him about my sandwiches thing last week and he loved that. I might do it again at Christmas. If not, I might consider last week my good deed. Um, Diana, uh, so Diana is Evan, my nephew, his girlfriend, it's, uh, her mom. So, uh, we're, we're close. We're family. And basically, and, um, she was saying that there's a senior place in, um, Halifax or wherever it is that there's seniors that families don't come to see them at Christmas and they're alone. So they make a little Christmas list of like five things and then people will like go out and buy them. It's like when they have the trees in the mall with kids names on it and stuff. So they'll do that for seniors. So I think they might do something like that. Um, a couple weeks ago, dad and Evan went to a Mooseheads hockey game, which is the local team in Halifax. And they both had tickets and both won the jerseys that the hockey players were wearing that night. And, um, so Evan and dad won their jerseys. So dad was all excited. And Evan said, uh, granddad, didn't you say we're supposed to be giving <laughs> this year? So dad's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> cause I think dad was really happy, um, that he had won a shirt. But what they're going to do, so at the game, the players have the shirts on and then they take them and get them washed. And then in a couple of weeks, people go back and get the shirt, uh, the jersey that they won. So they're going to go get the jerseys. Evan said they're allowed to stand in the living room for an hour and wear their jerseys, but then they have to take them off and give them away. So they're going to do, um, as far as I know, they're doing tickets to a hockey game for a family and they're going to get, um, like, uh, gift certificate to um, a local restaurant and then they're going to give it to a needy, a uh, needy family. So I don't know if they're finding them through the church or how they're going to do this. Um, but they're going to give, um, the hockey tickets for a family and the dinner out before the game. And then they're going to give the two jerseys, um, to that family. So they're going to try and find a family with a couple of kids, um, that would like to have the shirts. So I know that's what, um, dad and Evan and those guys are doing. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be giving, um, this Christmas. So it's, <laughs> it's stressing me out that I haven't bought anything for anybody because it's just strange that I'm, I'm not doing that. And it's not supposed to cause stress, but it's making me more stressed out. Cause I'm just like, Oh, I usually send you guys stuff. So I'm trying to make a little thing for my dad that I want to send, 
um, in an envelope that's flat and small and won't get destroyed by these wackos. Um, but yeah, I got to create it and I got to make it up. But if it's if it works, it'll be really cute and I'll film it before I send it to him and then I can show you. Yeah, so I'm going to go get uh, some breakfast before I throw up. Uh, then I'm going to get some decorating done. I think I might start with the railing out here and then it's just going to require a tidy and I think the house might just remain a little messy this week um, with like the little green pieces of trees on the carpets and stuff. I might do a quick vacuum but I'll do a whole housework um, later this week and have it all nice for next weekend um, and then it'll all be done. So okay so I'm gonna go have something to eat and then I'll do some decorating and I will be back already. This is the part of all this that I hate. <laughs> it's like boxes and bins and stuff. This area over here makes me mental. We always have lunch bags and shit there. So I might put my little Christmas village there. I normally put it in the corner, like over in here, but the coffee maker and stuff's there. Um, so I might, the one I'm talking about is this one here. Sorry, you guys are probably car sick for my videos for me spinning around. It's a little Santa village thing. So I might do that over here and clear this out. And maybe people will respect that area and stop throwing crap there. I had to vacuum up that, um, I had to vacuum up all the little snow that was kind of everywhere, but it just sits up in the top. I know you probably can't see it from here, but trust me, it's kind of cool. Okay, I had to go upstairs and get cleaned up. <laughs> I was just feeling so crusty. Um, okay. Um, I've got the tree up. I like the way it looks. I say we just <laughs> leave it like that. Throw a couple lights on it. Candy cane and I, I say we're done. I went upstairs to get my shower and I secretly thought Scott and Bryn might start to tackle this. Nope. Nope, not so much. I didn't put any makeup on today because my eyes have been like so itchy the past two, three weeks. We think it might be stress and we think it might be dry eyes. So I went to the doctor last week and she gave me some eye drops. They don't seem to be doing a whole lot, but um, I noticed in my first video the other day that you can see me blinking like that. So it's driving me nuts. So that's what's wrong with my eyes.
So the tree is up. Thank God that sucker's pre-lit. I've got it hooked up to the light switch over here so we can just turn it off and on. I enjoy that. Um, I've just laid out the boxes of ornaments. We're gonna work on this later on today. These are the lights that um, I've been decorating with. They're the Wonder Shop ones at Target and they were normally $2.99. And like I said, I got these for, I think they were 49 cents last year. We have some stuff over here. This is more tree ornaments. So those will go on. Um, I also found my table runner, the black with the snowflakes. So that's there. Oh, and I put a lantern up here and my little date um, blocks up there too. So I thought that was kind of cool. Hey guys, just heading down to Value Village to find an ugly Christmas sweater.